If you're looking for the most versatile accessories for your wardrobe, today's video I'm gonna share the only accessories you'll ever need. Welcome to my channel. My whole goal for this channel is to help you build a wardrobe and a style that you love so that you can look and feel beautiful and confident every single day. So excuse the rain if you hear it in the background, but I live in Florida and it's just what happens. So I'm excited about today's topic because after my 50 easy everyday outfits video came out a couple of weeks ago, I started talking to a couple of the women in my Agile Style program about what it would take to compile the pieces that were necessary to create those outfits. Like what, what pieces showed up again and again and again in those chic, minimal, everyday outfits. And so these really are the bare bones, the basic accessories that you are going to see over and over and over again when you're looking at Pinterest, when you're looking at Instagram, when you're looking at stylish, well put together outfits in 2021. Um, 10 years ago, this might have been a different list, but the emphasis on accessories right now is um, there are a lot of neutral accessories and they're a little bit simpler in terms of everyday more casual looks. So I want to show you um, the accessories that I think are going to be the ones that you will wear on repeat. You can literally wear most of these items almost every single day without someone saying, oh, didn't you just wear those shoes? Or, um, you know, they're not statement accessories. They are truly versatile like heaven is gonna open up. Um, okay, so let's get into it. The first really versatile accessory is a pair of neutral slides. Now, this all started with the Hermes slides, which are, you know, fancy, expensive, beautiful, well-made, but there are so many versions of this that so many people don't even know that the Hermes slides are the ones that started it all. Um, Sam Edelman does a really, really good, really comfortable version of this um, slide. If a medium brown color works for your coloring, that's a great place to start because it's a great um, all year round neutral that goes with black, it goes with brown, it goes with gray, it goes with navy, it goes with all the other neutrals. So that medium brown color is a great um, idea for a great shade for that uh, neutral slide. Um, if you're looking for a cooler version of that, then a medium gray would have the same effect for those of you with cool coloring, but you're looking for that, that color that kind of will go with all of your colors. I actually have a very similar pair to this in black that I wear all the time. They're stylish, they're definitely a step up from a thong sandal or like a flip-flop, but just as easy to wear. Uh, so definitely a neutral slide. Now it doesn't have to be this style, you can do any neutral slide that you like. It can be any slip-on shoe in a neutral color, can really be a go-to, can make it really easy to accessorize any outfit. Just slip it on and go there and you know choose a pair that's comfortable because these are going to be shoes that you're going to want to wear all the time. Um, the nude heeled sandal. Now, what that heel looks like depends on you. Maybe it's a little heel. Maybe it's a kitten heel. Maybe it's a block heel. Maybe it's an espadrille or a wedge heel. Maybe it's um, a, a thinner heel. But a nude sandal, strappy sandal, if you don't have anything to go with anything that you're wearing when you're dressing up, whether you're going to church or a wedding or a cocktail party, um, these are the shoes that will go with every single dressier look. They'll go out to dinner. They'll go to any events. They work with literally every single um, dressier outfit in your wardrobe. They will also update and upgrade outfits that look a little too casual, a little too boring, a little too plain. Like if you're wearing jeans and a t-shirt, you can wear your nude um, strappy sandals with them and that will be a great look. If you can't do a heel, just do a nude strappy flat and you'll have the same effect. But it's a really, really neutral, very subtle way to accessorize an outfit. And like I said, it will go with everything dressy as well as casual. The next thing I would suggest is a pair of colored pumps. Now that can be whatever accent color you like. It can be turquoise or green or yellow or pink or red or orange, whatever that color is, a pair of colored pumps will mix really, really well with anything that you have in your wardrobe that's either a little too casual, a little too boring, a little too neutral, and it will just make it look more interesting. Now, again, you don't do a pump, 
that's fine. Do um, maybe a pointy toe flat, maybe a slip on shoe, maybe even a sneaker in that color. You make the choice that works best for your wardrobe and your lifestyle, but having that accent color in a shoe is a really, really versatile choice and something when you look at you know, videos and posts about easy everyday outfits, you're going to see several of them crop up that have that pop of color in a shoe. It's the easiest way to add a pop of color. Okay, chic loafers. I have a little exception here that I'm going to make. I'm not a loafer person. I feel like they are very, they, they just don't look like me. They don't feel like me. But um, I will do a high-heeled glam loafer, like I have my eye on the red Gucci um, suede high-heeled loafer. High-heeled loafers are a big trend um, this fall and winter. I haven't seen them since the mid 90s when I was um, working as a magazine editor in Miami and I had a pair of high heeled black patent leather DKNY loafers that I just loved. So I will do a loafer if it's got a feminine touch to it, but the loafers I'm really thinking about right now are a more classic loafer. Um, and I've done videos where I've highlighted some brands. You want something that's kind of got that Gucci-esque look. You don't want it to be so utilitarian that it looks like kind of a frumpy shoe and you don't want it to look like a masculine shoe. You want it to be stylish. So you want a beautiful suede, maybe some gold tone metal accent on it or um, some kind of detail about it that makes it a little bit different, a little bit unique, a little bit fashion-y and at the same time still versatile. So a loafer is, it shows up in all the outfits, shows up in all the outfits. I wish I could pull off a regular neutral um, chic pair of loafers but if that's your thing I definitely recommend that for those of us who maybe don't do a loafer then again um, you can replace it with a, a really classic looking flat but again you want the, 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 these pieces to have a little bit of style to them so that they don't read frumpy right Okay, the next thing I wanna talk about is a tote. Um, you want a tote in a neutral color that goes with all of your other neutrals. Right now, the overwhelming favorite is that medium brown color. Some people call it luggage, some people call it cognac, um, depends on the brand. Madewell's Transport Tote is a really, really good version of this tote at a reasonable price. So if you're looking for a great leather tote that is good quality, that will take you everywhere, it can take you shopping, it can take you to the office, it can, you know, hold all of your stuff, then the Madewell Transport Tote is just a favorite and a long time standby for a lot of people. Um, but again, that medium brown color goes with all the colors. It goes with black and navy and gray and everything. Um, if you don't like the medium brown, do a medium gray, do a black, do a, an off-white, whatever that neutral is in your wardrobe. A, new, a, a neutral leather or leather looking tote is a great versatile piece to have in your wardrobe. Okay, a structured bag. So you want that structured bag in your dark neutral, ideally. So for me, that's black, it can be gray, it can be navy, it can be brown. Um, you can even do like a more medium uh, brown, camel, gray color if, if you prefer that. But you want it to be seasonless and you want it to be neutral so that it goes with everything in your wardrobe all year round. Um, and a black structured tote is, a, or black structured handbag is something that, or whatever neutral structured handbag is going to elevate everything you wear so you can wear it with a tee and jeans um, and it's going to look a little bit dressier it's going to look a little bit more intentional it's going to look a little bit um, more polished so definitely recommend a structured bag in your neutral of choice the next thing I would suggest is a pair of sneakers. I never thought five years ago that these would be on my list, but oh my goodness, I have been won over. Um, a pair of white sneakers in either leather or canvas. Um, you can wear them with casual dresses. You can wear them with um, you know, jumpsuits and rompers and jeans. And you can wear them with pretty much anything. Shorts, they're just a fun, laid back look. They um, look a little bit more youthful. They've got a, 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 a great energy to them that a lot of comfort shoes over the age of 40 do not have and they're just a hip way to stay comfortable so a pair of solid white um, simple streamlined sneakers is a great investment the next thing I want to talk about is the dark neutral belt so this can be any style that you love 
if you really want to upgrade and update a lot of your outfits, then that black Gucci belt or a Valentino belt or an Hermes belt with a beautiful buckle on it is a great and elegant and fancy choice. Um, I like also like Ada belts, A-D-A. She makes beautiful, soft, buttery leather wrap belts that are beautiful and last a really long time. Great quality. Um, you don't have to worry about the buckles because you can wrap them and tie them. So that's a great option. Um, but you want a good quality leather belt um, in a neutral color that is your dark neutral of choice in your wardrobe. It will instantly add polish and pull together any of the basic pieces that you may already have. The next thing we want to talk about is gold hoops. So, I mean, or silver hoops if you've got cool coloring. So a pair of hoops is as, you know, much of a given as having, you know, I don't know, like a pair of neutral flats. Like they just need to be part of your wardrobe. You need a great pair of gold hoops. Right now, the gold hoops that are out are a little bit thicker, a little bit tubular. Um, so you might want to look at something like that. Um, but really a classic gold tone or silver tone hoop is um, a timeless and chic and literally never goes out of style way to just kind of accent any outfit. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is a clutch. So you've got the, the tote bag box checked. You've got the structured bag box checked. Now you want a clutch. A clutch is something you can carry um, to a wedding, to a party, to an evening event, but you can also take it around with you during the day if you just want to add a little pop of color or interest to an otherwise simple outfit. So um, a clutch and a color or a texture is a great addition to a wardrobe because it can really... Um, living up a lot of outfits and just be a, a, a beautiful accessory. Um, so definitely consider a clutch. And if you've got a clutch with like a hidden um, strap to it, that's awesome also because then it's a clutch slash crossbody, even more versatile, amazing. So there's great brands that make beautiful clutches. You can get them from anywhere at any price point. I love vintage clutches and I have quite a few of them, um, but pick your, pick your brand and you'll find a great clutch in that brand. Um, next, I want to add a chic pair of sunglasses. So you want the, the everyday go-to sunglasses. You know, if you follow me on Instagram and in my Facebook group that I just bought, got a pair from a brand, an Australian brand called Key, Q-U-A-Y. Um, they're only $65, which for a good pair of sunglasses is, is a good price. I've bought, I've spent a lot more on sunglasses in the past. They were literally the first pair I saw at the Nordstrom anniversary sale. They were not on sale. Um, and I grabbed them, put them on, and after looking for a couple of months for a great pair of sunglasses, they were or, um, my pick and they're I love them they're definitely a go-to for me um, they look good with everything you want a pair of chic polished um, maybe I'd make a little bit of a statement sunglasses that you can pull on on those days when you're tired I wear mine every single day I live in Florida it's usually sunny and um, I will wear my sunglasses every day so a great pair of sunglasses that says something about your style is another um, a very versatile accessory Finally, the last thing I want to talk about is a delicate necklace. So if you have invested in all the statement necklaces with all the doodads and all the things going on, I get it. I've been there too. But the, the pieces that I reach for again and again are generally the more neutral and definitely what's happening more in style right now is the more neutral jewelry pieces so this is neutral and a little bit more of a statement but i also have a delicate a couple of delicate necklaces that i wear all the time they go with literally everything um, they're easy to just keep on and wear day after day after day if that's what you want or you can switch them out according to your outfits but a delicate necklace is an essential in my book and the final item in my list of most versatile accessories. Now, are these really the only accessories you'll ever need? It depends on your style. If you're a minimalist, if you're trying to streamline your lifestyle, if you're trying to downsize, this is a great list for you to start with. Tweak it according to your own lifestyle, according to your own personal style, according to your geographical location, according to all of those things. But this will get you started building a versatile accessory wardrobe. And, um, and then you can add as little or as much on top of that as you want. Some people, this is all they'll ever need. Others are going to want to continue to, to add to their collections. So 
different philosophies and I'm here for, for all of you. So let me know what you think of this accessory list in the comments. Um, I have a catalog linked below with all of the items that I've shown here as well as many more for you to choose from. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, please let me know um, what you'd like to see in a future video in the comments. Definitely don't forget to hit the notification bell. We'll let you know when I upload new videos every Tuesday and every Friday. And of course, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. We have so much fun here and we'd love to have you join us. I'll see you in the next one.